Hey guys, and welcome back to Raise Trains. Today's video, I'm going to continue my product reviews uh, of my purchases at York. And I've got two items here that I'm really excited about. If it wasn't for my legacy diesel that I picked up at like the last second of the whole show, these two would have been my favorite purchases uh, at the show. So what I'm going to do is I took a little footage from this booth uh, at York. So I'm going to put that in there right now so you guys can see what, what we're dealing with here. Okay, I'm at the Ralph's Trains booth and Ralph's stuff is freaking awesome. Look at all this stuff. This guy, this the guy Hey Ross, how are you doing, buddy? Everybody else in the You'll have to wait and watch to see what I bought because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but I already got something. And there's Ralph. He's awesome. <laughs> Look at this. This is just amazing. He's got his farm stuff. So check them out. Okay, guys. So as you can see, the booth I'm talking about is Ralph's Trains. Um, so what Ralph does is he makes custom loaded flat cars in all scales. He'll do it in O, H, O, and N. And his name's Ralph Diggs. And he's out of uh, Williamsburg, uh, Virginia. And I first met Ralph at Allentown, where I made a video of my first Ralph's Trains flat car. Go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. But I'm gonna throw that uh, on the track too when we run these other ones. But Ralph does such great work. Um, he laser cuts uh, the decks to put uh, wood on them. And then he'll buy scale models. And this is probably why I like Ralph's Trains cars so much is because it's my world, basically. You know, my hobby before this was uh, model tractors. And I have a lot of these kind of things, highly detailed um, construction and farm equipment. So what Ralph does is he'll get scale, highly detailed scale construction, military, and farm. And he'll put them on the decks and he'll chain them on and keep them on there and they look they're, they're the best cars I've seen by far he does such great work and on Thursday when the doors opened at noon I made a beeline for his booth first and I was the first person there because I knew I wanted my pick of the litter I wanted to pick uh I wanted to go first basically because I knew once they were gone that that was going to be it so on the first day, my first purchase within the first five minutes of York opening <laughs> was a Ralph's Trains car. And then I had mentioned in my York haul video that I, nothing was really moving me too much. <laughs> uh, again, until I bought my Legacy Diesel in the last five minutes of the last day. But I was like, I haven't seen any sets. I haven't seen any locomotives. The only thing I was thinking about the next day on Friday was more of Ralph's trains, uh, freight cars. <laughs> so, or flat cars, excuse me. So I went back on Friday and I bought another one. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, there was a third one I wanted. If you, uh, in the video I shot, you could probably see it. It was a military flat car with the army colored crane on it. Uh, and it was the nicest car there. The only reason I didn't buy it was because it was almost it was the most expensive car on the table. And I did have a budget going into the show and I just couldn't just justify spending that much on that one car. But if it was like a smaller show, like I said, I, I saw Ralph for the first time at Allentown. I would have bought that car and that would have been my only purchase of the whole show. But Ralph did say he could make me that crane again if he if he had to, that crane flat car. But anyway. 
Um, I'm, I'll show you Ralph's business card when we get closer on these uh, cars. So you can check out uh, his website, his email, his number. Definitely check him out. He's, he's so great. So let's see what I got. Well, let's, let me show you what I got on the first day, because I got this one. And also, I like that, um, you know, everyone's saying my channel is only Lionel. I got a lot of MTH and Atlas going lately, because this is going to be my first Atlas freight car. You just saw the Atlas engine, the Amtrak-8 that I just got. And I've gotten a lot of MTH freight cars lately. So, let's open the first one. Man, again, got this in the first five minutes of, of York on Thursday. And what we've got is a military black car with M60 tanks on it. The Patton tank. Um, I've wanted military flat cars for a while. <laughs> this is my first one. Um... Ralph says the M1 Abrams are the hardest to make because it's hard to find M1 Abrams tanks in 148 scale. <laughs> but um, these are M60s and I'm fine with it. Tank's a tank to me, so. And this thing looks fantastic, look at that. And again, I'll do this now so I don't do it when I do the close-ups like all Ralph's <laughs> trains. The durability of these things. Now, I'm not saying they're not fragile, but by far, the, for what these things are, they are so durable. I I have other freight cars that I've just picked up and stuff. Stuff's fallen off. I have to glue it back on. He does such a great job with these. So this is my first one on the first day. And then the second day, again, I saw this one. Oh, I saw this one on the first day and I loved it. I think I even zoomed in on this in my video. And I was thinking about it on Thursday night and I was like, I'm just going to buy it. So what we've got is a Union Pacific flat car with... A really incredible Alice Chalmers uh, scraper. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. This this Alice Chalmers model, like I would have bought this without the freight car if I'd seen this out, honestly. Even though I don't, I don't do tractors anymore, but it just looks so good. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do, we won't mess around here. I'll throw these things on the track, give you guys a closer look at these two, and then maybe the other one too, and then we'll just run them around and see how they look. All right, so we're starting out with the military flat car, or the army flat car, excuse me. And uh, we got the M60s on there. Let me just give Ralph a little plug. There's uh, his website, um, his phone number, his email, his name. Check this out. There's really great stuff on there. So, yeah. Really happy with this. The tanks look awesome. I forget what what um, company he said the tanks were from. I don't know if it was SpecCast or... I forget, but... Look really good. And as you can see right here, Ralph does... He chains them all down. <laughs> and you can see the deck... Not only is the deck, uh, he said this is laser cut, he um, even weathers the deck too. On, on this one anyway. <laughs> Looks awesome. Yeah. All chained down. Tight too. <laughs> um, yeah. I need to get more of these. <laughs> Um, yeah, you said the M1 Abrams are his most, uh, popular, but I guess it's hard to find, find those, but. All right, now let's take a look at my, uh, second one. All right, now here's the Alice Chalmers, uh, scraper. 
can see it's all chained down as well. I love, now this is the, yeah, this is the Atlas car. Atlas car looks really nice. Look at that, UP, serves all the West. Looks really nice. Now I have a sweet spot for Alice Chalmers. Um, I might, I, let me see if I can throw a picture in here. The farm I used to work at had an Alice Chalmers 170, which I actually hated, but <laughs> I still used it. We would drive it around, use it as a PTO tractor. Um, and yeah, always, always have a sweet spot for Alice Chalmers. This model's so great. You can see the cable the cable for this lifting and lowering the scraper looks awesome. Love the detail on the Alice too. Uh, excuse me, the Atlas car road of the streamliners. Look at that. I've got some, uh, the white you're seeing is the foam from the, uh, package. Ralph packages are really nice. So, I gotta hit this with a um, <laughs> one of those keyboard uh, cleaners. Now, I will quickly show you guys my first Ralph's Trains car, and then we'll run them all together. I got this TTX with the Volvo uh, front loader. You guys have seen this before if you watch my channel, but yeah, really great stuff. I'm going to have a whole, my goal is every show to see uh, if Ralph's there, I'll buy one. Maybe I'll have a whole, like a fleet of like six of these things would be really nice one day, but uh, yeah, check them out. I'll show the card one more time. There it is. Now let's... Uh, Let's put these on my little layout on the ground here and run them, see how they look. All right, I fittingly have it on my uh, veteran's uh, locomotive here. So let's roll it out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, I, I actually don't have the exact price I paid for these because I threw the stickers out. They're a little over 200 a pop. I know that for pretty much all three, which really isn't that bad because you figure a highly detailed, you know, car from MTH or Atlas is going to be around 100, maybe a little under. And then the model itself is probably going to be 100. So then you factor in Ralph's work to, to put them on there and chain them down. It's pr pretty good. So like I said, check them out on the website and uh, definitely going to get more of these. But yeah, that's going to do it. So remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.